Hi guys, this is Ricardo back on the Watch With Us channel YouTube and in for review this week we have a watch from the brand Benris and that watch is the Benris Type 1. Now a little bit of history on Benris, they're a watch brand that was founded right here in New York City back in 1921. Uh, they have gone through actually quite a few changes in terms of ownership since the 1970s but it wasn't until recently that the brand itself was brought up by a private investment group and that private investment group has been slowly releasing um, some of the more important models within the Benris history so what the investment group initially did was they did a soft launch earlier this year where they release some models such as the Air Chief Chronograph and the Benris Field Watch. But to really push the brand forward and kind of make a big, mm, a lot of noise within the watch community, they decided to go back and reissue um, in many ways one of their most storied watches and that's the Benris Type 1. Now the Benris Type 1 was made between 1972 and 1980 and a key point here is that this watch was never distributed to the public. It was only distributed to those within the armed services. And so you'll find a lot of, of history with this watch in terms of the Vietnam War. Um, a lot of the vets from that war, they actually wore this watch. Um, and nowadays to find an original version of this watch is quite rare because in total there were less than about 20,000 produced um, in that 1972 to 1980 time period. So to really kind of stand out, the brand decided that you know what, the, the, the key, the marquee launch or the marquee model that they want to launch to kind of bring the, ba the brand back into the purview of the watch community is the Benris Type 1. And that's the watch we have here. So let's take a moment to dig into the specs and really see what Benris has offered with this new model. Now, the Benris Type 1 measures in at 42.5 millimeters you have a case thickness of 15 millimeters. Your lug to lug comes in at 48 millimeters from here to there. The watch comes with a screwed down crown, which gives the watch 300 meters of water resistance. As you'll notice, there is no branding on the dial. It's what's considered a sterile dial. All you have here are just the hour markers and the hands. Your bezel is actually not a ratchet bezel. It is a friction bezel and it is bi-directional. So it could spin in both directions. If I loosen this Zulu strap and I really want to preface and make sure everyone knows that this is actually my Zulu strap or I'll kind of explain why it's on the watch. Let's go here to the case back, which identifies first the mill spec for the watch, the brand name, some more identifiable information. You have when the watch was released, November 2020, and the serial number, number two out of 1,000 and assembled within the US. Now I'm gonna take my Zulu off and show you guys what the watch actually comes with. Comes with this beautiful two-layered NATO, this black NATO. It's a two-piece NATO. The quality is quite nice. Has a nice bit of thickness to it. Here are the keepers. You get a sliding keeper here. There's your buckle signed Benris and this is actually what the watch comes with this black strap 
Now, the reason I put it on this green Zulu is I just I just really like the look. Um, uh, these two, it, when I actually got the watch in, I remember I have I have this Zulu and it was just a match made in heaven. Um, I think the watch looks really good on this green Zulu, but it also looks amazing on the two piece black NATO we have here. Now going back to the watch head, you get a domed, double domed sapphire crystal. And you can see that the bezel slopes perfectly into the crystal. You have loom on all the hour indices as well as on the pip of the second hand and on the hour and the minute hand. Unlike the original, the spring bars here are one, not fixed, and they're not 19 millimeters. So you could actually remove these spring bars and the gap here on the watch is 20 millimeters. Now inside you have an ETA 2681 movement. That movement hacks and gives you between 38 and 40 hours of power reserve. Now the downside to this of course is if you are familiar with that movement is this is one, a no date watch however the movement has date function so if i go ahead and unscrew the crown if i pull it out to the first position it doesn't immediately hack there's actually a ghost position here and you may hear that click over of where the date is supposed to be if i pull it out all the way watch hacks I could then go ahead and set my time. And actually the screw down mechanism is really nice on this, really nice and tight for that 300 meters of water resistance. The case itself is bead blasted, which gives it this really nice color. The bezel insert used to be acrylic on the original version. However, here we have an aluminum bezel and for those not familiar with these types of bezels, this is some people considered a poor man's GMT. In other words, it's a 12 hour bezel. And a reason I call it a poor man's GMT is if you line up, let's say I want to know the time in Switzerland, which is about six hours. And that's what I tend to do. So what I do is I'll line up the bezel as you can see, this isn't a, a loosey goosey friction bezel. This is actually quite nice and stiff. So right now I know that this is telling me it's about 10, oh, let's say 08. But then I know that in Switzerland, it's actually 408 in the morning. And that's your poor man's um, G GMT. You also get these markers here from the 12 to the 20 which also allows you to use this as a diving bezel as well. In terms of loom, just wanted to also note that the loom used on this is actually BGW9. Now, that covers for the specs. As I mentioned, of course, this is assembled in the US, which is a nice added bonus on this watch. But that concludes it for the specs. So now let's jump into my thoughts on this reissue from the Benris brand. Now I've had the Type 1 for a few days and I really wanted to get this watch in because I've tried so many of the homage versions of this watch and I wanted to see what Benris, actual Benris, would be able to do with such a storied model. Now I know a lot of people are gonna tell me, well, Ricardo, it's not Benris, in quotation marks, Benris. Um, but, you know, they're gonna say that, yeah, it's not the Benris that actually made these watches. But to that, I'm gonna say, it's still Benris because they're still able to give you certain things a homage could never give you. 
the, 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 the engravings on the back. The, the, the small little details um, that add to the authenticity of this watch. Um, and no matter how good uh, a homage is, there's those are certain things that you won't be able to get from a homage. And those are the things I think if you're someone who's looking at this watch, those are the things you're looking for. I mean, if you if you're getting this watch, you're getting it for what's a lot of what's here on the back, um, because this is important to the overall theme and the overall look of the watch for you. Now, I'm going to go over just my negatives and my positives on this uh, in terms of negatives. Really, there's only one. Um, I really wish that they were able to get their hands on a no date version of the Adder movement in here. Um, but I completely understand uh, they're not a Swatch Group brand, so it's not like they can just go to Edda and say, hey guys, let me get a thousand no-date Eddas. It doesn't work like that for them, so I completely understand um, how, one, they still wanted to stay true to the original, so they wanted to make sure they got an Edda in here, but you know they weren't able to get their hands on that no-date pure movement. So you're gonna have that ghost position. And every time you wind the watch, you're gonna see you have that ghost position. But uh, for me, the positives on this watch on this watch far outweigh the negatives. And if I have to go through the positive right off the bat, um, just in terms of the overall feel of the watch, it definitely has a quality feel. It's very comfortable on the wrist. Um, this has to be the most comfortable 15 I've ever worn. You look at those lugs, look how they're perfectly curved. Uh, I'm gonna toss this on my wrist so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Reminder to everyone watching, I have a 7.25 inch wrist. Um, the lug to lug on this watch is 48 millimeters. And here's how it looks on my wrist. I mean, just look at that. that, that it's so comfortable. Um, the decision not to go fixed and instead go the two-piece NATO route really helps here. Um, really appreciate the decision to go the 20 millimeters here on the lugs instead of the 19. It makes this much more versatile. I could toss this on so many 20 piece, 20 millimeter uh, straps from maybe a dark brown leather. Uh, two-piece green NATO, the Zulu that I showed you guys. Uh, there's just so much more that you can do with this watch um, because they decided not to go the fixed route. Um, the bead blasting on this case is amazing. Uh, really gives it that nice, authentic look. Loom on this is great. You guys get a quick little view there. Just overall, um, the feeling on the threads here on the crown, great. The, the feeling on this two-piece, nice, thick NATO. Just overall, I think Benis, Benis did an amazing job with this. Uh, the f another thing, just amazing feel here on the friction bezel. I mean, if you just start going down the list on all the positives on this watch, all the things they got right, right on this watch. I mean, it's really hard not to appreciate um, what they did here. And uh, before I forget, in terms of pricing here, this watch is actually $1,695. Um, I know some people might be saying, oof, that's, that's pretty high. But you're pretty much paying for authenticity here. You're paying for quality which, I mean, we might go back and forth in terms of maybe some of the homages in terms of the quality that they present, fine. You, uh, we'll go tit for tat on that. But it's the authenticity factor here. The fact that you get the Benris here on the back, the fact that you know this is from Benris, uh, there's something to that. And if you're looking at, the, at this watch, a lot of people looking at this watch, that's what they're looking for. And I think when you add that to the quality that they provided here on this model, I think it's it's a no-brainer. Um, it's it's a great addition to 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 someone's collection if this is what they're looking for. Before I forget, wanted to go over some of the items you get 
simple packaging once again that stays true to the original you get this little pamphlet here on the type one gives you some information there warranty information as well as just your setting of the time and your components and your specs on top of that you get your benris type one hang tag and a little booklet here with just some quality control items here from the brand and that covers it but overall guys i think if you're looking for a type one this is a great option and i hope you guys enjoyed the review if you have any questions any comments drop them down there in the comment section but i hope you enjoyed everything and i'll see you guys soon with the next review on the channel bye guys